Well, good morning, everyone. Oh dear, we're in the thick of a pandemic. It's uh, Wednesday, the 18th of March, 2020, and we've been told to exercise social distancing. In other words, keep away from other people. Basically, that means stay at home if you can. And since I'm retired and I don't go to work, um, that's what I've got to do. So Margaret, my wife and I are staying at home. And I thought I'd make a video just to let you know that one, first of all, don't let standards slip. It's important to uh, maintain <laughs> some sort of dignity and decorum. So here we are in Middle England. I live in Nuneaton in Warwickshire, Shakespeare's County, you know. And um, I thought I'd just go through one or two of the things that I do on video that you've seen before, uh, just to point out some of the things I can get up to if I'm stuck at home, which basically I am. So here we go. Number one, handwriting. Everybody loves nice handwriting, don't they? And what's better than nice handwriting than a nice handwriting video? Calligraphy. Now, calligraphy is a little bit like handwriting, of course, but it's a bit more fancy and you do it a little bit slower and uh, you can have some more fancy effects. So, calligraphy, let's do it. I don't mean house painting like doors and windows. I mean painting pictures of things, artistic stuff. Um, I have done acrylic painting, which is great fun, but at the moment I'm on a, a binge of watercolour painting, which is a little bit different. And I really enjoy doing it. Still got something in my fingers and hands to work with. Let's have a look at watercolour painting.
music. How could we not exist without music? Unfortunately, um, I've had to stop going and meeting my friends to play music, which is great fun. And so I can just have to play on my own. I've actually just had contact with somebody in the USA and FaceTimed, or did it mess? I don't know. Anyway, we talked face to face via computer, I had a great time. And uh, we're going to share some musical ideas as well. So, music, great. <laughs> You've just picked a day when it started to rain, which is why England is such a green and pleasant land. Uh, but we have had some nice sunshine recently, and my garden, I've just stayed at home, my garden has been uh, tended to the nth degree, and uh, it's looking pretty good, even though it's still quite early spring. Right, for the gardening section, I thought I'd bring you to the greenhouse, um, because it's raining today. So let's have a quick look what we've got. My strawberry patch is over here and I've dug them all out to get the weeds sorted out and then planted them back in again. But I've put some of them, as you can see, here into the greenhouse. And these have jumped up and now it's March. They're usually ready in June, but I think these are going to be sooner than that, um, which uh, is really encouraging. Right, here we've also got some tomato seeds in, some chives, some basil, and I'll put some chives and basil at the end of here as well, just there, and this end as well, there we go, basil. Um, I think by putting uh, bulbs in particular, spring bulbs into uh, pots, you can move them around quite a lot and put them uh, when they're ready in the right position. So I've got a few here, which I'll show you. One bit of woodwork I can show you is here, and that is I made somewhere here a bird box and hidden it behind this clematis. So there you have it. Keep up standards, don't let things slip. Get up in the morning, make your bed, have a wash, have a shave, <laughs> ladies included. Put some nice clothes on. Keep up the standards, oh yes. And there are six things I've uh, outlined that I can get up to. So whatever you wanna do, do it. But uh, there are things you can do, I'm sure, to make things a bit easier while they're stuck here at home. Did I mention cycling? You must get out and about. Um, walk the dog. If you don't have a dog, walk anyway. But you can get out and about. You don't have to stay in the house, but just keep away from other people to stave off the problem of this virus getting really out of hand. I think a lot of people are going to get it. That's inevitable. They're, they're trying to smooth it out so it's not all at once. But eventually we will get past it. So um, all the very best to everybody if you're struggling either because of your job or your businesses which are really being hit by this. And 
Anyway, look after yourself, stay healthy, and we'll see you again next time.